Portland Harbour today, uh, about 12 to 16 knots of wind. The A-Class uh, World Championships is on here, so we got to sort of be on the water at the same time as those guys and get an idea of how we're going relative to them. And I'm um, really excited to sail the NAC 15 uh, foiling. Uh, it be a really great opportunity for, for young guys to come into a, a foiling boat and, um, and learn from a young age how to foil. Something that um, I wasn't fortunate enough to do because foiling boats weren't around. So it's a really great opportunity for them. Uh, the boat's lively, it's fast and uh, it's going to be a real challenge for them to sail. Um, it's going to be important for the production boats for these and the guys that, that um, retrofit the, the existing NAC 15 uh, to make sure they've got the rudder setup and board setups all calibrated on the boat so that you can be accurate and repeatable. Um, foiling boats can be very unpredictable and tricky to tame and it's important that you have um, your rudder numbers and your main foil Angles it's quite easy for younger crews to sail because of the flat kite and the set rudder rake makes it quite easy to keep the boat sort of stable whilst you're foiling. One of the great functions or features of the NAC 15 is they've gone with an L rudder uh, instead of a T rudder which uh, makes it quite a bit safer if you happen to fall off the boat because the sharp part of the uh, rudder or is on the inside uh, rather than being on the outside like the NAC 17. So it's a great safety feature and doesn't affect the boat's performance at all as far as I was um, aware today. Um, the other great thing about the NAC 15 and a real bonus for all the boats that are out there right now is the boat's fully retrofittable so your NAC 15 can be made into a foiling boat just like this one.